Warning, prior to beginning the process of installing your new Willwood brake kit, be sure you have thoroughly read all instructions and warnings that are provided. Disc brakes should only be installed by someone knowledgeable and competent in the functioning and maintenance of disc brakes. In this video, we'll show you how to install front disc brakes on a 2014 Ford Fiesta ST. This kit does not include flex lines. OEM brake lines will not adapt to Willwood calipers. Check the assembly instructions or associated components section for the brake line recommendations, or call us at 805-388 1188 and speak with one of our knowledgeable sales and technical representatives to get the correct flex line for your vehicle. In addition, we offer an extensive listing of brake lines and fittings on our website. Remove the front wheels. Remove the caliper bolts. Remove the bolt that holds the original brake hose and bracket. Slide the caliper off the rotor and hang it out of the way using a wire hanger or something similar. Slide the rotor off the hub. Clean the axle hub with a wire brush. Attach the rotor to the hat using the supplied bolts. Apply red Loctite 271 to the threads and using an alternating sequence, torque to 25 foot-pounds. Insert one sleeve into each of the holes on the spindle ears. Insert the bolts with the washers into each of the spindle ears and mount the caliper bracket as shown. Ensure that the flanged heads of the clench nuts in the bracket are facing outboard. Check to make sure the bracket fits squarely against the mounting bosses on the upright. Remove the bolts. Add red Loctite 271 to the threads and reinstall and torque to 60 foot-pounds. Slide the rotor registration adapter onto the axle register on the axle hub with a smaller OD facing toward the rotor and hat. Slide the rotor and hat assembly onto the axle hub. The hat must fit flush against the axle hub flange or excessive rotor runout may result. Install three lug nuts finger tight to keep the rotor and hat assembly in place while continuing the installation. Initially place two 35 thousandths shims on each bolt between the caliper and the bracket. This kit contains distinct right and left hand calipers that must be mounted in a specific direction. Ensure that the caliper is mounted so the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of the rotor rotation. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts and view the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the caliper. Always use the same amount of shims on each of the two mounting bolts. The end of each bolt must be flush with or slightly protruding from the head of the clench nut. If necessary, Place spare shims between the washer and caliper mounting ear to achieve the proper clench nut engagement. Once the caliper alignment and clench nut engagement are correct, remove the mounting bolts and caliper. Remove the two pad retaining pins from the caliper by carefully popping out the pad retaining clips and sliding the pins out. Insert the brake pads in the caliper from the bottom with the friction material facing the rotor. Secure the brake pads in place with the pad retaining pins and clips. Add PTFE tape to the caliper fitting. Install the fitting into the caliper using a 7 16 wrench. Apply red Loctite 271 to the bolt thread and reinstall the caliper onto the mounting bracket and torque to 40 foot-pounds. Attach Willwood flex line to the provided chassis fitting. Remove the retaining clip from the hardline. Disconnect the hardline from the factory brake hose. Attach the Willwood flex line to the hardline and tighten. Install the new retaining clip. Attach the other end of the flex line to the caliper fitting. Slice the provided grommet and slide it over the flex line. Slip the provided bracket over the flex line and reconnect it to the original location using the OE bolt. Root along the same path as the OE holes and secure the flex line as necessary to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake, or wheel components. Before driving the vehicle, be sure to bleed the brakes. Follow the supplementary instructions included with your kit for bleeding, pad bending, and minimum test procedure. Install the wheel and torque to manufacturer specifications. Warning, do not drive on untested brakes. Brakes must be tested after installation or maintenance. Minimum test procedure. Make sure pedal is firm. Hold firm pressure on pedal for several minutes. It should remain in a position without sinking. If pedal sinks towards floor, check system for leaks. Do not drive vehicle if pedal does not stay firm or can be pushed to the floor with normal pressure. 
at very low speed, two to five miles per hour. Apply brakes hard several times while turning steering from full left to full right. Repeat several times, remove the wheels, and check that components are not touching, rubbing, or leaking. Minimum test procedure continued. Carefully examine all brake components, brake lines, and fittings for leaks and interference. Make sure there is no interference with wheels or suspension components. Drive vehicle at a low speed, 15 to 20 miles per hour, making moderate and hard stops. Brakes should feel normal and positive. Again, check for leaks and interference. Always test the vehicle in a safe place where there is no danger to or from other people or vehicles. Always wear seatbelts and make use of all safety equipment.